easy ways to edit like I said like I said we're gonna have a couple tutorials uh, on more advanced automation but let's look at how we can edit it when you click on this little button over here on the track it opens up a little sub track down here and you'll notice that this is the volume and you can see the automation that I wrote on my volume notice when I hit play <laughs> my volume automation I can edit this automation real simply by just grabbing and clicking these things are called nodes you can grab and create nodes and you can delete nodes um, can highlight all of these and then click delete on your computer keyboard uh, in fact you can highlight all of them and click delete on your keyboard and this is how you edit the volume automation let's see how that worked now if you want to automate other parameters other than volume it's very simple all you do is click on the volume over here and it shows you all of these parameters and we'll look uh, in advanced automation we'll look under all of these other windows but if you want to do a simple panner you want to automate your pan then you select pan right here you select pan over here and you'll see the automation that I wrote when I was writing the uh, automation up here here's the uh, say likewise we can highlight and we can click delete on our keyboard or we can double click and create these nodes all on panning now if you want to see both your volume and your Panner automation at once, you can actually click on plus down here and open another window. We can select volume, so this is showing our volume automation and this is showing our panner automation. If you recorded your automation on the fly and you want to quickly open up everything so you can see all the different parameters you moved, you simply right click on the track and you select show used automation. You can select it for all tracks. And what it's going to do is it's going to show all the automation that I made on that channel. So I can open up all my parameters that are automated all at once. You'll see all the different things that I moved. To hide all of these tracks, we simply right click and, and select uh, hide all automation. Right click over here and select hide all automation. You can also open the automation for just one track by clicking on that track and right-clicking on that track and selecting show used automation and it will show the automation just for that track and likewise you can hide the automation for that track if you want to see automation on this track for just one or two specific parameters you click on the plus and you can keep clicking on the plus and open as many different screens as you want and each one of these screens you can open and look at whatever you want this is the mute so this would be the track off and this would be the track on turned on and you notice that we can also write the mute automation we come over here and we click write automation and play <laughs> back and shut off the right because we don't want to make any changes and click uh, read and you'll see the mutes I just made so like I said pretty much everything inside of Cubase is automatable what's a little strange is um, and I still have trouble getting used to this when the mute is off you're hearing the sound and when the mute is on you're not hearing the sound so don't think of this as the sound being on this is the mute being on so that's a quick view of automation we'll look at automation at more in future tutorials and let's continue looking at our inspector panel in depth